Welcome to the Westport Library tutorial on how to get started with Medline Plus. Medline Plus is an online resource for health information from the National Library of Medicine. It is accessible through our databases page and also as a webpage at medlineplus.gov. This resource is free and does not require a library card to access. This is the resources homepage. The headings at the top correspond to the categories on the lower part of the screen, with one exception. Healthy Recipes, the box on the bottom right, simply leads to a page listing several options for healthy recipes, sorted by meal type, diet type, and more. Now, let's briefly go through the main sections of this resource, starting with health topics. This section allows you to look up information, including symptoms, causes, treatment, and prevention, on over 1,000 diseases, illnesses, health conditions, and wellness issues. This section is browsable in a variety of ways including by type of disorder or condition, as well as by body location. If we select one of these locations, it takes us to a page with a diagram illustrating that body system and parts of the body within that system. If you scroll down, you will see an alphabetical list of topics relating to this body system. If you click on one of the more specific body parts in the gray box, then the page will jump down a little and more importantly will load a list of topics relating specifically to that body part. Selecting a particular topic will lead to a detailed page with information about that topic. Next, let's look at the drugs and supplements section. Click this heading now. This section provides a simple A to Z list of both prescription and over-the-counter medicines. You can look up a medicine by either its generic name or by its brand name, and both will lead you to the same page with more information. I'm going to look up ibuprofen, so let's look under I. And here is an alphabetical list. You'll notice that for some of the entries with brand names, like Iprin, they will link to the generic name for the drug and will link to the same page. Let's click on ibuprofen. This page lists much more detailed information, including reasons why this drug is used, potential side effects, and more. Now let's go back to the Drugs and Supplements page. And this time, let's click on All Herbs and Supplements. This leads to an A to Z list of herbs and supplements. Clicking on a particular item will give more detailed information on whether they are documented as effective, typical dosages, and potential in interactions with medications. Now let's move on to the next section, Genetics. The genetics section provides different browsable sections to learn more about the ways genetic variation can affect human health. If we look into one of these sections, then we'll find a familiar organization of information. Note that multiple kinds of names, including abbreviations, are included to make it easier to find what you are looking for. Similar to the drugs and supplements pages, selecting something more specific out of this list will lead to a page with more details. In this case, those individual pages will give information on signs and symptoms, genetic cause, inheritance pattern of the condition, and more. Now let's go to medical tests. This section provides a similarly formatted list of medical tests. These pages can help you understand more about a test you or a loved one may be going through or have been recommended. Finally, let's check out the medical encyclopedia. This section is a medical encyclopedia with over 4,000 articles about diseases, tests, symptoms, injuries, and surgeries, including a library of medical photographs and illustrations. While some of the topics covered in the medical encyclopedia overlap with articles in the other sections of the website we explored earlier, the medical encyclopedia entry may look different even if it contains much of the same information. Simply click on a letter to start exploring the list. Finally, the last part of this resource we'll explore is the search option. Let's type in a search, note that Medline will provide suggestions as you type, and hit go to see our results. On the search results page, you can see a list of relevant articles. If you want to sort through these results based on type of article, you can select the relevant section here. If you are looking for a different format, for example, relevant images, you can also filter for that by selecting the relevant format here. And that's everything you need to know to get started with Medline Plus. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us at the reference desk in the library, or you can email us at ref at westportlibrary.org.